Hey everyone, it's Lachlan here with an unboxing of the Audio-Technica ATH M20X uh, entry-level professional monitor headphones. Now I mentioned in my review of the Audio-Technica ATH M50X that Audio-Technica Australia also gave me a pair of these to have a look at. And these are the entry level in the M series of uh, studio monitors. There's the M20X and then the M30X, the M40X and then the M50X. Um, these retail in Australia for a recommended retail price of 89 uh, Australian dollars. Though I checked Amazon this morning and I saw that the street price in the US has gone down to about 49 dollars. So if this is a good headphone, if it's anywhere as good as the uh, M50X, or at least you know with reasonable expectations, this could make for a really good value kind of uh, you know home use kind of can. Now, one thing to note about this headphone is that it does not have the detachable cable like the M50X. It is a fixed three meter straight cable. The other thing to note, just looking at the box, is that these headphones have a uh, sensitivity rating of 96 decibels and an impedance of 47 ohms. So we're starting to get into the territory where maybe these headphones might need an amplifier. Though I'll have a look at that when I actually have a listen. But anyway, let's uh, actually open the box. Um, the uh, Audio Technica Australia actually suggested to me that this headphone might be good, uh, for instance, uh, drummers. Uh, if they need a kind of cheap beat around headphone, this might be one of the better options. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how much uh, of the kind of M50X uh, lineage makes it into the M20X. So you can see it's a pretty easy box to open and we just have the uh, kind of instruction manuals or that kind of data here. So we'll just put that aside for now. We have the headphones themselves. Now immediately as soon as I pick it up, I notice that these headphones are, are very lightweight in feel. Um, so we just got plastic wrap on them. I'll just take that off. Uh, I'll have to undo this plastic first. Um, so if we were three meter cable, I wouldn't really consider using these as portable headphones. But if you are after kind of a, a, a cheaper headphone to use at home or as a studio monitor headphone, this seems like uh, it could be, you know, something with a lot of potential. Uh, so we just take the wrapper off here. Oh, we're going to have to take this all the way down the cable, I see. I see how this goes. Uh... Oops, sorry, I have a message there. Anyway, okay, so. Here's the headphones themselves. You can see that uh, even though this is an entry level model, the plastic finishing is actually quite nice. Um, we have this matte plastic finishing, which I actually think looks quite attractive because it's very subtle. Uh, definitely the pads aren't made of the same kind of material as they are on the M50X, just in terms of plushness and density. They're not uh, they're immediately a bit stiffer in feel and you can tell they kind of depress a little more but all in all they still feel okay. Uh, the one thing that really kind of speaks to the the entry level nature of this headphone is the exposed cabling on the headband um, but you know uh, that's something that's okay in the studio I guess as long as you're careful. Uh, there's nothing that will cause that uh, headphone cable to shear and the headband, so that's good. Uh, the headband adjustment mechanism is a little stiff, but that's good, I suppose, because it will keep position very strongly. The, the headphone is very, very lightweight. That's one thing that's very obvious as soon as you pick it up. Um, you can tell from the ear cup size that these headphones are hmm, they're slightly more compact. Uh, just in terms of the driver, you can tell that the driver capsule is quite a bit larger on the M50X than it is on the M20X. Um, but yeah, I actually am kind of looking forward to having a listen to these. I'll post any first impressions of them uh, that I have in the description of this video, so you can just check that below. I should make a remark on the cable for an entry-level headphone. This is a really nice feeling cable. It's uh, very, very smooth, very supple. 
So, you know, it's nice to see that kind of thing. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm going to have realistic expectations for a headphone that is coming in at about $90 recommended retail price. But uh, if this is any good, uh, I will certainly be very happy to recommend it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, click the like button if you found this helpful. And you can talk to me on Facebook at facebook.com slash thing on Twitter uh, at thing and happy listening.